Hello, this video is for the Chapter 9 Technology Project, and we're going to be working on Part 2 on this one, so I'll scroll up to that. So this one's going to use the Application Hypothesis Test Sim for Proportions, which is in the Stat Sims folder. It says we're going to test these claims, and you are going to do that. This is, if you want to think about it, is the probability of uh, red for a roulette wheel. I'm going to switch it a little bit so that my example is not giving you the exact answers. So I'm going to use um, P equals 0.444, which is the percentage of three-point shots that Steph Curry makes. And then my alternative will be that P does not equal 0.444. So then when we move down here, we see that they want us to enter that stuff into the stat sims. So they want us to fill in the box for the claim proportion, which would come from here. They want us to set the significance level to 10%. I'm going to go ahead and just use 5%, just so the numbers are a little bit different. For the true proportion, notice they're using this value. That's just because in this example, they want HO to be a true claim. So to kind of mimic this, I'm going to use 0.444 in my example. I'll go ahead and stick with this sample size of 1087, but I'll do 5,555 um, for the number of trials. So let's go ahead and pull up that stat sim and enter the true proportion and the claim proportion. So first of all, the claim proportion comes from HO. So this is what I'm going to do. You would just put, let me slide this down a little bit, your 0.4737 right there. And the true proportion sometimes is the same as what's claimed, sometimes is different. In this particular problem, you'll see that they enter, they want you to enter the same value as what's claimed because they want you to be looking at what happens when you test a true claim. It's a does not equal, so that would be a two-tailed test. If it was left or right, we have those options there. For the sample size, I said I was going to use the same thing, which was 1087. And for the number of trials, instead of all those sevens, I'll do fives. And the significance level you can set to 1, 2, 5, 10, or 20. They told you to set yours to 10. I'm going to do 5 for mine. And then let's go ahead and see what they want us to do next after all of that is set up. So we've got all of that stuff entered in, and now they want us to check the requirements for doing the test. So this is a test about a proportion. So the requirements on that type of test is that we need NP0 and NQ0 to both be at least 10 and so for me I would check that let's see let's pull up the stat sim Let me go ahead and switch this like that pull up the stat sim so I would want to check NP0 so my N on this is the N of the hypothesis test which is the sample size so that's the 1087 and then I'd multiply that by the claim proportion so the claim proportion right here is 0.444 uh, actually ends up being the tr same as the true proportion, but what we're supposed to check is the claimed one. So I would do that, and then 1 minus that. So it turns out, for me, those are both bigger than 10. should figure sh show up the same way for you, too, but just make sure that you confirm that. And write, write all that up in Part B. All right, so let's see what they want us to do next. So Part C, I'm going to let you fill that one in. There's examples like this in the homework and in the notes. So um, think that through and fill that in. And then I'm going to move on to Part D and show you how to do that. If we perform this test 7,777 times, but as you saw, I'm going to do that with fives instead, then how many rejections would you expect to see and explain and show your work? So I'm going to skip the explain part. I'm going to leave that to you. I'll say it in words, but you'll need to type it up. And I'm just going to show the work for this. So let's look at the stat sim. So it says right here the probability of rejecting is 0.05. And notice that's the same as the significance level. And that's not always the case. Let's say that we are claiming that Steph shot, um, or that he made 44.4% of his three-pointers. But let's say he wasn't quite that good and that he made just over 40%. Then all of a sudden the claim proportion and the truth don't match and then the significance level and the probability of rejecting are not the same. So why is that? So let me put the four back in so they match again. The reason they match right now is because if the truth is the same as what's claimed, then if you reject HO, you're making a type 1 error, and this is the risk of making a type 1 error. So when you're dealing with a true claim, 
you're going to end up rejecting that claim, whatever your significance level is. So if I'm going to do the test 5,555 times, I should end up rejecting 5% of the time, which is the significance level. And again, you see that here. That's because it's a true claim. So make sure you write that stuff up in your explanation. As far as showing the work, I would do the 555 times 0 0.05 and see what I get. I have the calculator open, so we can go ahead and do that. Turn that on, clear out this old stuff. So 5555 times 0 0.05 is 277.75. And I believe they just want us to leave a decimal on that, but we can go check. So, and I think I might have put that in the wrong spot, did I? Yes, I did. So let's take that and cut it. Control X and put it up here. Oops, sorry about that. Control V. And let's see what they want us to do there. So they said write your answer as a decimal. Yeah. And notice the probability for rejecting is shown above the graph. So you can use that too. But the key is why did that match the significance level? And it's because HO is a true claim. Now they want us to click automatic to simulate the, all the trials and then paste the results to Word. So I'm going to go do that and pull up the StatSim and click automatic. If I click, I'm going to click compute one a few times. So it just keeps having basically staff go shoot 1,087 three-pointers and see how many he makes and then test the claim. And mostly we're not rejecting because there's only a 5% chance of that. But if we click automatic, we're going to get some rejections in there. And here it's keeping track of the percent rejected. And that's the number that we want to see. We expected to reject about 5% of the time right here and here. So hopefully that ends up matching and it looks like it's close. And then how are we doing on our count? We still have a few thousand left to go. And the closer this is to 5%, the better. But if it's off by a little bit, then it's reasonable to think that maybe that's just random variation. So finishing up and super close to 5%. So we're going to capture this. We could do that with an alt print screen. That would be perfectly fine. But when you look at part F, it asks how many times did you actually end up rejecting? Show your work. Now when you think about actually rejecting, what you want to do is you want to take the percentage that you actually rejected times the number of tests you run. So I'm going to go ahead and use the snipping tool to capture this. I'm just going to circle this percentage because that's kind of the key percentage that I'm going to use. So let me pull up the snipping tool do a new snip. Move that out of the way a little bit. I'm going to capture the screen. And then again, because I use snipping tool, I can circle this part, which is just kind of handy. And then edit copy and minimize that and go to my reports and that was part E but I don't want to put it right here because then the E will be at the bottom of the um, graph instead of the top so I'm going to go down a line control paste and there we go and then how many did we actually reject well we did this many times 5.02 which in percent that's a percentage so 0 0.0502 and then let's see what we get for that so I bring the calculator in and do that 5555 times 0 0.0502 and I get 278.861 so I'm going to type that 278.861 but that's not possible because what this is supposed to represent is how many times I had the word reject show up here through the whole list we can only see the first few right um, it had to have been a whole number. So I'm going to go into my insert equation and I'm going to look for the approximately equal sign which is right there and then I'm going to round that to the nearest whole number which in my case because of the let me point it out and because of this 8 right here we're going to round up to 279 but if that had been like a 2 I would have rounded down to 278 so 279 rejections so why is that coming out a decimal right here when it has to be a whole number? Well, let me show you on the calculator. So what's happening is we really did get 279 rejections, but that was out of 
5,555 tries. So this is the actual percentage, 0 0.05022. And then this is just rounding that to two um, decimal places in percent form, which would be 5.02% because of the two right there. So that from here to here, there's a little rounding error, and that's what's throwing us off a bit right there. All right, and I think that takes care of that. Yep, that answers the last one. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it to you to fill in some of those other blanks there, but hopefully this will get you off to a pretty good start. Just remember your numbers are going to be different from mine because I did alter them a little. Make sure you're looking carefully at the numbers that you're supposed to be using. All right, good luck.